All right, I want to talk about a fight. Could be pay-per-view of the year on May 7th. Saul Canelo Alvarez versus Amir King Khan. Now, a lot of people are calling this fight a joke, but I'm not one of those people. I'm missing the punchline. If this is a joke, I'm not getting it because I'm of the belief that styles make fights, not box rec, not punch stat numbers, not what the media says, not the perception of a guy coming from one weight class moving up to another weight class because he's the smaller man, automatically he's at a disadvantage. Now obviously Canelo Alvarez is going to have a few advantages in this fight, but Amir Khan is also going to have some significant advantages in this fight. It goes without saying Amir Khan is the faster guy. It goes without saying Amir Khan is the volume puncher. He's the busier of the two when these guys are in fights. He has a much higher punch output. Now, this whole argument about Amir Khan's chin, I think the whole chin argument in boxing altogether is definitely an overstated argument because most knockouts occur because the fighter is a victim of circumstance or the fighter is a victim of the situation. Anyone can get knocked out if they get hit perfectly, you know, at the perfect time. So if someone's running into a punch that they don't see and they're getting hit on their sweet spot, they're going to go. Guys like Antonio Margarito and Paul Williams, who were thought to be iron-chinned, but even they were stopped. Paul Williams was hit with the perfect shot that he ran into by Sergio Martinez because he did not see it. Now, if you look at Amir Khan's stoppage losses... You know, he just got caught cold against Breedis Prescott. And with Danny Garcia, he got hit with a shot that he didn't see. And he was a little bit complacent in that fight. Not making excuses, the knockouts occurred. And that's fine. That's all part of the sport. Things like that happen. But, you know, let's look at Amir Khan's career. He's never, ever been the underdog. So he's never had to fight really being overly concerned about his opponent. So you could say that he approached a great deal of his fights being a little overzealous, being a little overconfident, not really having that concern that, hey, you know what? This guy can take me out. This guy can hurt me. And on one occasion when he did have that type of mentality against Marcos Maidana, we all saw what happened. He weathered the storm. He was prepared to deal with with punishment at that fight, if need be. And he dealt with it very well. And he dealt with it pretty well against Luis Colazzo. Took some good shots in that fight. So a lot of people are saying that Amir Khan has to fight the perfect fight. Whereas, in my opinion, he's never been put in a situation before where he had to fight the perfect fight to win. So I believe he's going to go into this fight with the mentality that, yes, I have to fight the perfect fight, and I'm going to do everything in my power to fight the perfect fight. So he's going to be on his P's and Q's in this fight with Canelo. Now, everyone thinks that I'm a Canelo hater. That couldn't be anything further than the truth, because I like Canelo. I think Canelo's good for boxing. I actually think Canelo is the new pay-per-view star. He's a bona fide star in the sport right now, now that Mayweather has retired. He's the man. And I, and I fully believe that. And I concede that point. But as good as Canelo is, he's got weaknesses. We've seen the weaknesses against Irislandi Lara, against, against Austin Trout. You know, and we've even seen them against Miguel Cotto. I mean, people are saying that he dominated that fight. I thought that fight was a, was a close fight. I thought it was a hotly contested matchup. I thought Cotto held his own in that fight. I didn't think he won, but I scored the fight 115 to 113 for Canelo. And I thought that Canelo lost against Lara. And I had the Trout fight a draw. So in his biggest fights of his career, I thought Canelo arguably lost one of them, drew in one of them, and he squeaked by in the other. And that's not to diminish Canelo a as a fighter, but let's just look at his weaknesses. Obviously, he has, he's not that fast on his feet. We've, we've seen that. He has a hard time cutting off the ring. We've seen that. We've seen that. And we, we've seen him have problems with guys who can 
fight him on the outside, and kind of keep him at bay. I think Canelo is a mid-range hooker, and I think he fights at a methodical pace. And I think that, you know, sometimes he can give away rounds because he's laying back too much, looking for counters, looking to set traps. You know, and if, and if he's not able to pin somebody against the ropes and, and just tee off on them, then he doesn't really throw a lot of punches. He has to get a guy cornered before he feels comfortable enough to unload on them. Because in the center of the ring, he has problems against guys who can gauge distance well and against guys who can move and box well. We've seen this many times with Canelo. And Amir Khan, arguably, not even arguably, in my opinion, he's faster than Miguel Cotto. He's faster than Austin Trout. He's faster than Iris Landi Lara. And he throws a lot more punches than all of those fighters. So in my humble opinion, I think if Amir Khan does fight the perfect fight. And I honestly believe, given the mentality going into this fight, that realizing he has to, I think he'll pretty much fight as close to a perfect fight as can be. I think Virgil Hunter will have him prepared in this fight. And I truly believe this. And I think he will give Canelo a lot of problems. He will frustrate Canelo. He will not stand still. He will pace himself in this fight Hold when he has to hold on the inside to nullify Canelo. And I think he'll be moving on the outside, going in and out, you know, throwing a lot of punches, maybe not landing all of them clean, but I think by, by sheer volume, he's going to steal these rounds against Canelo. He's going to outwork Canelo. Canelo's going to have a hard time trapping this man on the ropes, cornering him, and teeing off because I don't think Canelo has that one-punch knockout power. So he's going to have to land something big on Amir Khan to freeze him in his tracks so he can unload on him. And I don't think that that's going to happen. I think Khan is not going to allow that to happen. I think he's going to hold when he has to hold. He's going to fight on the outside when he has to fight on the outside. Use his jab. Use his foot speed. Not be a stationary target in there. Just like Austin Trout, Miguel Cotto, and Iris Landi Lara were not. And they lasted to the end of the fight. They went the distance. They gave Canelo problems. Those fights, in my opinion, were close fights. So I just think Amir Khan is being totally underrated here, totally undervalued. And you could use the triangle theory, and you can look at some of Khan's past performances against different fighters, but... Again, styles make fights. He's going to be prepared for Canelo. He's the underdog for the first time in his career, and that's going to motivate him. That's going to enable him mentally to say to himself, I can't make any mistakes here. You know, I can't slip up one iota in this fight. And because of that, I think you're going to see the best Amir Khan that you can possibly see could be the best performance of his career and I am going to predict right now and I don't care how many of you call me crazy that Amir Khan is going to win a unanimous decision in this fight and people are saying oh well the judges are gonna give it to Canelo regardless I don't think that's gonna happen this time I just think Amir Khan is going to outwork him enough where it's gonna be impossible to steal the fight from him you know and we've seen fighters in the past like Oscar De La Hoya, who arguably have gotten, you know, gift decisions against Ike Corte and Pernell Whitaker. But after a while, that stigma wears off. And we saw, you know, against Felix Trinidad, he didn't get that decision. It didn't go his way that time. Against Shane Mosley in, in some close fights, he didn't get that gift decision that he normally uh, allegedly got earlier in his career. So after a while, you know, judges... Stop with that stigma. It's going to wear off. You, you can only go to the well so many times. And I don't think Canelo is going to get a gift decision this time. I think Amir Khan is going to legitimately win this fight. And he's going to get the decision on the judges' scorecards. Okay, you heard it here first. Amir Khan, UD. Huge upset. Fight of the year over Canelo Alvarez. Beebs out. Peace. Thank <laughs> you.